Hi guys, uh, I will show you some tips about how to create custom buttons uh, in Modern Driver app in several videos. In this video, I will show you how to use the, how to use the Power Platform out of box feature uh, that is command bar to create button to create main grid button and main form button. So firstly, let's look at what. Uh, the main grid button and main form button look like. As you can see, this is the main grid. Uh, it's a this is a list of the records. So um, you can all these buttons are main grid button. So for my requirement, I need a custom button show here. So when I select at least one records below uh, it will show up for example let me uh, choose this one okay choose two so you can see uh, this one this is this is um, I uh, this is what I uh, needed uh, I created previously uh, the custom button so this button will as I mentioned this button will show up when at least one records uh, at least one record has been uh, selected so if i click this button it uh, will pop up a window uh, to ask me to confirm uh, the, the, the operation if i click ok so the two records will be cancelled will be completed sorry so we can go to the uh, inactive uh, view you can see the two records has been changed to complete status so this is the the main Form button and so main grid button. So um, let's go back to the active. Let's open uh, an appending records. So this this is a main form, right? Um, all these buttons are main form button. So this button is uh, is I uh, created previously. This is the main form button. So if I click uh, the uh, this button is same. So you can see this review status has been changed from pending to complete. So next, uh, I will show you how to uh, create the, the two buttons. Uh, firstly, let's go to the uh, the, the uh, the modern Dream app editor uh, editor page. So, in this page, uh, we we can go to the the, the left side the, the page uh, panel and find the table or entity we want to add the buttons. So, click the three point here. Then you will find uh, edit bar, uh, edit command bar here. So I would prefer add the new tab. Okay, in this new tab, so there, there are three, uh, oh, there are four options here. So in this video, I will just focus on the, the first two. Uh, maybe in the, in the next video, I will uh, I introduce the subgrid um, view button. Okay, so for main grid button, we just add uh, so okay the first way we will create a main grid button click edit uh, so firstly let's click the new button here uh, so we just choose the command uh, new command then we just uh, next we will rename the label the icon uh, action we just uh, set up the action visibility so now let's just go to my uh, the previously created button to uh, to introduce okay so uh, we click this one you can see uh, firstly we rename the label here and then we just choose icon uh, so we can use icon or we can it's optional here so icon so I just choose this I uh, choose this icon active code icon uh, so yeah and for the action, so there are two options. One is formula, the other is JavaScript. So the JavaScript uh, leader uh, in Ruby Workbench, I will show you how to use the JavaScript 
to make it simple, I think uh, the formula uh, using PowerFX will be a better better option uh, for us. So here, let's uh, if you choose the right formula, uh, click Open Formula Bar. So you will see here in the formula bar. Okay. So the firstly, if confirm, the confirm is a function just for a notification or a dialogue. Um, so if you if you want to to learn more details about this function, you can check the URL in my uh, in my in the description of this video. Uh, I will put the the link there. You can check the details of of this function. So you can see this function is here. Uh, uh, firstly, we just uh, uh, pop up this text, uh, right? Uh, are you sure to complete? And this is the title. You know, the pop up window. There's title there, but this title is optional. Yeah, and uh, this is for the pop up window. Next, if the user click OK, then it will execute the first part before comma. No, here. Oh, <laughs> there. There's only part one part. So I just um, execute when user click OK. So ignore uh, the scenario user click cancel. Right. Okay, so when user click OK, so I will do the uh, uh, do the uh, uh, how to see the, do the patch for all the records, all the selected records. So firstly, use for or we use we always start uh, with the self. Uh, just focus on the objects we are working on. Uh, the self selected all items, you know, that means that all the selected items, right? Then patch, patch is you know is this can can use can be used to create new records or modify the existing records. So here we just modify the existing record. So use patch. Then this one is the data source. The next one is the the item we are working on, right? This record, because you know, it's we it read over all the items, right? And uh, do the patch for this one is the current record. Then we just update this field. This field is uh, option set field. So um, the, the field name is review status, then the option set value. So yeah, that's it. Then next, we need to set the visibility. So in my uh, requirement, you can see. Uh, the, uh, so okay, for the visibility, there are two options. One is for show; it's always show, right? The other is show on condition. So let's uh, open the formula bar here. So uh, for my um, requirement, you know, I just want this one show up only when there there's at, there is at least one record uh, has been selected right so that means you know this formula this visibility field uh, field is a boolean type so it can support true or false the two options the false is zero true is non zero so that means all no matter what the value is if only if it's not zero, it always be uh, regarded as true. So I just use count rules here. Uh, count rules, just count on how many records has been have been selected. Count the rules. If this number equals zero, that means no record selected, you know, the zero is false, right? If at least one record selected, so it will be true, right? Then, okay, so I will use this formula to control the visibility. So that's it. This is the main grid uh, button. It's pretty easy.
right? <laughs> then we just go to the main form. The main form button, okay? Uh, one second. Okay, in, in the main form, all these buttons are main form buttons. So my button is, uh, yeah, this one. This one is uh, my customized uh, I created previously. So it should be same, but sim simpler than main grid button. So you can see all the steps are similar. Uh, we just rename the label and change and choose the icon. And here is the action. I, I uh, also use the right formula, use power fx. So open the formula bar here. So the first part is same. We just pop up uh, a dialog window uh, to ask the user to confirm. Yeah, this is the first part. If user click OK, we will do the patch, right? So, you know, there is single only work on the current uh, record, the open record. So we, we need them to use the uh, for all, right? Just um, the patch, then the data source and the item we are working on. You know, we start with self, right? The self selected item, just use add item, not all items, right? Item, because it's just the current one. Then the rest part is same. We just set the field name and the field value here. The, the field is option set value. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it. And for visibility, uh, yeah, here, the visibility. So I, I will set only when the re, uh, review status is pending, then I will make this button show up. If the uh, review status is not pending, I will hide this button. So you can see if this button equals pending, it will be true, or else will be false. Yeah, that's it. Uh, this is the, uh, the main form button. Um, so hopefully uh, this tip will be uh, useful for you to create uh, the custom button, uh, the custom main grid button and main form button. So if you have any questions, just let me know. In the next video, I will show you how to create a subgrid uh, button Thank you for watching.